and many living along the border are keeping an eye on what the president will do next. South of San Antonio, the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley has a campus located in a unique spot. The Brownsville campus has the Rio Grande in its backyard, but unlike many parts of the border, a shorter fence surrounds the campus. The night team's Tiffany Huerta spoke with a professor in the valley who explains how that happened and why he believes a wall along the entire southern border just isn't enough. It's in our series, The Line. Uh, you show me a 50 foot wall and I'll show you a 51 foot ladder at the border. That's the way the border works. University of Texas Rio Grande Valley professor Terrence Garrett watches a video of himself testifying before a full Senate committee hearing on homeland and governmental affairs in 2017. Among the many points discussed was the legal battle between the U.S. government and the University of Texas at Brownsville and Texas Southmost College that took place in 2008 over the border wall placement around campus. And they asked me about how UTB USC was able to defeat the wall being put in through our campus. The federal government wanted permission to enter the property. Dr. Garrett says the university president at the time opposed because it was a risk to the property investment. The public didn't have input and it would jeopardize the important historical heritage of the campus. President Garcia didn't want to have anything that was uh, aesthetically unpalatable to many of our students who walk over from Matamoros. They didn't want it to be an intimidating uh, sort of situation. He says the university won a partial victory. Dr. Garrett mentions this fence in his testimony. He says the university was successful in placing these green fences instead of an 18 foot barrier. The university built a fence, but it's only 10 foot high. It's got green mesh fence with white pillars and it's about 1.1 miles. President Donald Trump says building the wall is necessary for border security. I believe drugs large percentages of which come through the southern border will be cut by a number that nobody will believe. So let me be very clear. We really have no choice but to build a powerful wall or steel barrier. Dr. Garrett believes walls won't work. We need to improve the number of courts to handle people with asylum claims. We need to improve uh, ports of entry. Today, UTRGV sits on the Brownsville campus. University officials say they have not been informed of any changes to the portion of border wall that surrounds the campus. Reporting from Brownsville, Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. And tomorrow on the night beat, Tiffany Huertas speaks with UTRGV campus police about safety on that same campus.